With the FIFA World Cup nearing, people have been rushing to get tickets for this big event in the world of sports. But apart from witnessing the sport, a lot of people are wondering how the Royals of Qatar are. Well, in this video, we're about to find out just that. Hello folks and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll discuss the luxurious lifestyle of the royal family of Qatar. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is the current Emir of Qatar. His father, Hamad bin Khalifa, abdicated the throne to him in 2013. Ever since then, the Emir has been taking all the major decisions related to Qatar. Qatar follows an absolute monarchy form of governance, but it's quite a peaceful place to live in, all thanks to its amazing leaders. Back to the Emir, he was born on the 3rd of June in 1980 in Doha to Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani and Moza bin Nasser Al Misnet. As it's pretty evident through his surname, he belongs to the House of Thani. As for his education, he has attended Sherburne School in Dorset, Harrow School, and the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. During his schooling, he wrote his A-level exams. He's also said to speak French and English quite fluently and has a strong inclination towards history as well as Qatar's heritage. His diverse education has helped him making quite a lot of decisions for the betterment of Qatar and its people. The Emir founded Oryx Qatar Sports Investments in 2005 and even owns Paris Saint-Germain FC, both of which are huge contributing factors to the royal wealth. The Emir is quite a sporty person, and his sport for the 15th Asian game that took place in Qatar secured him the vote of being the best sports personality in the Arab world, according to Egypt's Al Aram. Due to his heavy involvement and love for sports, he was given the right to host the 2014 FINA Swimming World Championship and this year's FIFA World Cup. Apart from all of this, he is the chairman of the National Olympic Committee, a member of the International Olympic Committee, and is soon expected to host 2030's Asian Games as well. By now, you would have understood that Tamim loves sports and invests some of his time in playing badminton as well as bowling. He's also a big fan of football. Now let's take a step back from sports and take a look at a few other investments that the Emir is involved in. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani heads the Qatar Investment Authority Board of Directors and through this has invested large sums of money in quite a few UK businesses. Some of these businesses include famous brands such as Sainsbury's, Barclays Bank and Harrah. The Emir is a family man and treats everyone with great kindness. He's also known for his confidence which has helped him in maintaining great relations with the West. The Qatari royal family is loaded with money and they splurge this on vacations, yachts, luxurious cars and much more. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has quite a few private jets including a Boeing 747 BBJ, A7 HBJ, Boeing 747 BBJ, A7 HHE and a Boeing 747 BBJ, A7 HHF. He also owns the Al Lusail yacht which is said to be 123 meters long and is made up of aluminum and teak. It is quite a masterpiece. Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, his father as well as the previous emir, also has his own yacht, the Katara. The Katara is a 124 meters long and was built by Larson. While S. Ben Ueno is the designer of this yacht, Alberto Pinto is the interior designer of this vessel. The vessel can also accommodate 60 crew members and 28 guests. The yacht is said to have a price of $400 million with an annual running cost of $25 million to $40 million. Qatar's former Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Hamad bin Hassim bin Abir Al Thani is another royal family member who owns quite a magnificent yacht, the Al Mirkab. It is said to have cost him $250 million. Al Mirkab is said to accommodate 24 guests across 10 guest suites. It also includes two VIP suites for the yacht owner. The yacht also comes with an outdoor bar, jacuzzis, cinemas, swimming pools, and a helipad. Its lavish interiors include hand-cut crystal panels embedded in the staircase. American glass sculptor Dale Chihuly also has his artwork displayed on this yacht. Apart from the royal family's divine yacht collection, they also have a massive car collection that consists of some of the most expensive cars found in this world. Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani's car collection was something that everyone admired. It consists of a Bugatti Veyron Vitesse Rembrandt Legend, a grey Bugatti Chiron, La Ferrari Aperta, a red LaFerrari Coupe, Lamborghini Centenario White Coupe, Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, McLaren P1, Mercedes G6 X6 AMG, a purple Pagani Huayra, and a silver Porsche 918. His son's car collection is as great as his father's car collection. It includes a Bugatti Chiron KHK which is custom made and some other cars of his father's that he uses from time to time. 
fact, Ymir loves sports cars as much as he loves sports and is often seen riding these fast beasts on wheels. Every royal family owns a few palaces at least, and so does the royal family of Qatar. During the early 20th century, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hasim Al Thani resided in the old Amiri Palace in Doha. The palace is culturally rich but was dysfunctional since 1923. Abdullah bin Hasim had shifted to the Ottoman fort of Kalat al Askar, due to which the old Amiri Palace was no longer useful to him. Apart from palaces, the Qatari royal family has a lot of property all across the world. In fact, they have quite a lot of properties in London. Sheikh Moza bin Nasser al Misned, the wife of the former emir, made a purchase of three adjacent Cornwall Terrace houses in London. They put all these homes together and created a mega mansion out of it. She bought the property for an estimated 199 million pounds in the year 2014. Another Qatari royal who owns a beautiful property is Sheikh Mohammed bin Fahed Al Thani. This royal owns a 43,000 square feet coastal palace. The palace comes with marble terraces and palm trees throughout its area. It's quite close to the West Bay Lagoon in Doha. Timothy Corrigan was the mastermind designer who helped build this palace. But hearing all that information, it's pretty evident that the Qatari royal family is filthy rich. According to certain estimates, if all the wealth of the Qatari royals was to be added up, it would come up to a whopping $335 billion. If you're wondering how many Qatari royals are there in the Thani family, well, there are around 8,000 Qatari royals who comprise this family. As we mentioned earlier, most of their wealth comes from the various investments that they have made worldwide and not alone from their generational wealth. Their stakes in Olympic Village, British Airways, Volkswagen, and the London's Shard skyscraper also secure them quite a decent amount of wealth that only seems to grow. The current Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani alone, is said to be worth somewhere between 2 and 2.5 billion dollars. As of now, the Emir is one of the youngest monarchs out there in the world due to his great drive to not only make a name in this world, but also to make Qatar a prominent landmark on the globe. With that last piece of information, we've reached the end of today's video. We hope you liked our video. Please subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. And share the video as far as possible because the more you know, the more you grow. Goodbye.